This is the most realistic bare minimum school supplies haul you'll probably honestly ever see. A lot of people on here have been buying a lot of school supplies and I'm not, I just don't really find it necessary. Hey guys, it's Tyra. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my school supplies with you guys. It's going to be a very realistic um, school supplies haul because obviously a lot of people have to do classes through Zoom. I know for other schools it's different, so if you are going to class in person, let me know. Comment down below. I'm not really excited about the fact that classes are... Well, actually, let me backtrack. I am excited that classes are online simply because you can finesse. Also mainly because I just want to do other things. Whenever I would just have to go to campus for class, I would just feel really drained out. I just wouldn't want to do anything else at all. So this semester is going to be pretty interesting with how I personally manage my time. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys find this interesting so be sure to like comment and subscribe if you're new and let's just go ahead and get right into these supplies so like i said i just don't really see the point in spending money at target when i barely got anything the first super essential things that i got i got two spirals they are three subject college ruled spirals and I only got two because for one, I plan on trying to use my math book a lot more this year for work and stuff, for typing things, I don't know. I'm still gonna be a paper and pen person. I have five classes. I didn't really see the point in buying five because I have some that have a lot of paper left in them that I didn't really use last semester. So I thought this pink color was cute and then I always love a classic black one. I really got the pink one because I couldn't find white so I was like, I guess I'll get a color. I always get five star notebooks, no other brand. For like utensils, I got these cute little highlighters. Sharpie is always the brand, my favorite. I had some before, but they were kind of drying out and they were old. And then I got these Paper Mate. These are my favorite, 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 favorite to ever, ever use. I literally love these pens. I don't really care for any other color. My freshman year of college, I went a little crazy. I had all these different colors. Like, it was just like unnecessary. And I like how a classic black pen looks with just the paper mate felt. What are those felt marker things? I just bought some of those this summer, so that's why I'm not showing y'all because I've already had them. Another thing that I got from Walmart was this college ruled loose leaf paper just your basic kind of paper some people like to be fancy and get the kind where it's like reinforced on the side first of all it's college i don't use binders in college um i don't even use folders in college when it comes to me having individual papers i personally just slip it inside of the pocket i literally just use these pockets in here for any loose leaf paper for every class because every class already has its own spiral personally how I feel. This was something that I was really excited about when I found it in Walmart, but I got this board, this dry erase board, mainly because I'm going to be taking organic chemistry and that's a lot of drawing, a lot of drawing structures and stuff, and I just know that that class would take up a lot of paper, so for that class I'm planning to only use paper for notes and then when it comes to me actually doing practice problems they will all be done on here i just want to get to a point where i'm really really comfortable with the um different practice problems it's gonna be a lot of repetition a lot of drawing so i'm really excited to use this and it's cute it's not too small and it's not too big and so when i found i was gonna order it on amazon but i was so glad that i found it in walmart i have some stuff in here to where if i wanted to hang it on the wall i could but i'm just gonna be mainly holding it every day and using it so i'm excited to use that the things that i got from amazon are just two things that are actually for my desk so i got a white led light for my desk the lamp that I currently have right now, it's black and it holds all my pens and pencils and stuff right now. And this one obviously doesn't. This one just 
like you don't have to put a light bulb in it so i really like that and you can change the settings on how bright you want the light to be so i'm very very excited to set this up i'm gonna still accumulate more stuff because i'm trying to do a little desk transformation but the light that i have right now is not gonna cut it it's already super dark over there like y'all can see i have all the lights on in my room and it's so dark over there so when i turn the lamp on it don't be doing much so i'm hopefully i'm hoping that this one is like bright the next thing that i got i'm kind of realizing that i probably should have set it up for you guys it's not set up but i'll just go ahead and insert a picture of what it's supposed to look like it's just going to be my laptop stand for my macbook pro the macbook pro that i have is actually the dark what is it the gray like the i don't know what it's called but um this is actually the color of the stand so they're not going to be the same color but I, none of that matters to me i'm gonna buy a couple textbooks probably one for organic chemistry because i don't really like online e-text i'm not a fan i want the physical book in my face so like you know how it is when you have a laptop behind it the book and then you have the book in front of the laptop and it's just so hard and then you're trying to write on the side it's too much so for the laptop it needs to be elevated so my book can be like under it you know what i mean it's really not that many school supplies i'm just gonna show you all my planner just in case anyone's wondering because i do use a planner by erin condren this one is custom made but they already have some that you can just go ahead and purchase now on their website i've shown it before in one of my vlogs but this is how it looks. I'm going to be using it again. I use it spring semester, so I will be using it this fall, and I love it. But those were all of my school supplies. You don't need a lot of stuff, but I know everyone's different, so I'm not about to like talk it out on people who do buy a lot of things. But I'm going to be honest, I already had most things because of doing summer school. I already have stuff like sticky notes, so I mean, I just basically already had everything. Like I said, it's very realistic. One thing I still want to do is organize my desk. It's back there. That's where I'll be working most of the time. So I kind of want to work on that. There might be a video coming on how I organize my desk. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoyed seeing all of these school supplies. It was realistic. So, and it was nice, quick, and sweet, and to the point. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, if you liked it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.